Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do this look for Valentine's Day. I mean, you can use this for any other day, right? But I think this is kind of romantic and nice for Valentine's Day. And on the eyes, I only use the Naked 3 palette. So if you have that, baby, let's use it. So first, I'm going to apply my Smashbox primer. Let the camera get back in focus. All over. Alrighty, so you know, this is gonna be a special day, and you want to look extremely good, right? And this is for my oily girls. This is a special day. I only recommend you guys to do this on a special day, like I said. Milk of magnesia. It's going to absorb your oil, it's gonna keep you mad all day, every day. Only use this one, and I use the one that tastes like cherry or whatever. The original one only. Okay. And then you're gonna want to put it on your areas where you're oily. I get super oily right here. I don't mind having it on my like right here, but my cheeks, it's where I do not like having that oily mess. So just a little bit. And if you apply too much, it's gonna start turning white. But that's okay because then with your foundation and all that, it's gonna cover up anyways. So don't be scared. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and conceal my little scars that I have right here. You know what? The struggle is real. Now I know why those YouTubers have those um, lights because you know, daylight is amazing, but sometimes it changes. Like all of a sudden, it got gloomy and it was all sunny, and then yeah, <laughs> I'm talking way too much. Now I'm gonna apply my foundation from Tarte. I got a little sample at Sephora in the color, um, what is it? Fair Light Honey. Okay, and I tried it on Saturday when I went out to the Grove, and I was actually very pleased with it. It reminds me a lot of the um, MAC, uh, what is it, Studio Scope, something like that. So I'm just gonna apply some with my fingers, distribute, you know, the foundation. But now with my beauty blender, don't make fun of my beauty blender. Yes, I thought mochado and stuff. And it's all ripped, I know I need a new one, but the struggle is super real. And it's damp already, so I'm just going to blend, 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 and blend. I'm going to go ahead and do my concealer. I'm going to go ahead and use the Hard Candy Camouflage Concealer in Ultralight. And apply this like a little... Not a little, like a big old triangle. <laughs> this might be a little too light, but I can make it work. I can make it work. This one, I mean, this concealer is pretty good. And then with your beauty blender, you can just blend it a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer with this Elf Translucent Powder. Puff it on, puff it on, puff it on. And puff it on, puff it on. I just popped it on the areas where I concealed and I highlighted. I'm gonna go ahead and set my foundation out with the Ben Eye Banana Powder. My neighbor staring at me. Tap it in, tap it in. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Now I'm going to apply Max Paint Pot and Paint Truly as my base. So tap, 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 tap. So with a fluffy brush like the and grab Limit. So I'm going to go ahead and apply Limit as my transition color. So above the crease. I really do like my Naked 3 palette. It has a lot of nice romantic soft colors. My main chick said you can blend it out like these. Now we're going to grab some of the Nooner color. We're going to go ahead and apply Nooner on the crease. Let's just blend and blend. Blend, 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 
Mm-hmm. Now with a big eyeshadow brush, we're gonna go ahead and apply a liar. We're gonna apply a liar on the eyelid, all over it. Going back with the fluffy brush, I'm going to get dark side. Apply it on the outer crease, kind of like in a C. And then... I'm going to apply dust on my tear duct. Tear duct! Damn, that song is my jam. I get turned up when I hear it. With this little brush again, I'm going to apply dark side again. So while my mascara is drying, I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my face. Slash concert, but not really. With the Hula Bronzer from Benefits. I'm just going to get this fluffy brush that I have from Bare Minerals. going to apply it on my forehead because I have a big old forehead. I like that this color is not too dark. But it's not too light. Cheeks. I like, I mean, I like to bronze up my face like crazy. It's one of my favorite things you know everyone has that one thing that they like to overdo I mean it's kind of everything while my eyelashes dry I'm gonna apply margin 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 frost blush by Mac on my cheeks very gently I don't want to overdo it you can tap or you can tap or brush just a little bit go ahead and use this fan brush just going to la 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 dust a little bit. I don't like the way he's looking at you. Okay. And just right here. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it in camera, but in person you can definitely see. I had aligned my waterline with this NYX Wonder Pencil in woo 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 light killer. Light clear. Oops. And I tried a new eyeliner. I mean, this is really old, but for me, I've never tried it before. Not that I remember. And it was kind of a fail. Um, the Italian eyeliner. You guys know this is like two bucks. This is the Chaffa stuff. But you know, sometimes Chaffa stuff works. So, but let's go ahead and do the lid. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this Barbie pink color from, ah, from Clean Color. Something like that. Ooh, the lotero. Ooh, the lotero. And some churros. I'm sorry, but I couldn't help myself. Mmm. Mmm. Like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and go over it with the NYX Tokyo color. You guys think. You guys, I don't wear jewelry. I'm doing this for y'all. It probably looks so fun. I'm going to take it off because it looks like... I'm not even going to say it. Anyways, I went ahead and put a blazer on top. I'm using a white shirt. I curled my hair all to one side. Lambidito por acá. And yes, this is the final look. You guys don't have to do, you know, pink lips if you don't want to. But I think it looks nice with a pink lip. It's not too much. But it's enough. Anyways, if you guys recreate this look, make sure to tag me on Instagram. I would love to see you guys recreating this look. Or use the hashtag Ashley Marlin. I would like to interact with y'all. And yes, I hope you guys have a great day. And I hope you guys figure out what you're going to wear and what you're going to look like for Valentine's Day. And thank you for going along with me in this video journey. Because, you know, I'm still working on it. You guys said that you guys wanted me to do talk through videos. And I understand why. Because you guys want to see me being dumb, right? I'm just kidding, but yeah.
I just don't know if the background music is okay or not, but you know, bear with me. We're, we're getting better together, okay? But yeah, see you next time. Try my whole back in the